Hey guys, Mike with Eminem Prospecting here, and over here is the lovely wife, the other part of the M&M. Um, didn't really have much of a video to shoot today, so I figured, a bunch of y'all don't even know it, but I'm kind of a little bit of a coin collector as well. So this may surprise y'all, so I'll flip you around and have a look. Alright, if y'all are ready for this... The wife has the camera light. Starting over here is all of our Indian head pennies. Sorry, Mama's light is getting in the way there. As you, can tell, way, not my light. as you can tell, we've got a nice little collection of Indian hit pennies. And the reason why we've got all those in flips, a lot of people um, like to put them in flips and stuff. But we scored over the weekend eight of these varying sizes. And we thought for five bucks. So we figured, what the heck, let's... Uh, coin our stuff off so this stack here is all of our Susan B Anthony's as you can tell there's a those are the 79's those are all the 1979's that whole stack right there and then we move over and we have the 1980's and there's a 99 Next, we'll move over and there's three Ike dollars, two are bicentennials, and one is a 74D. Then we'll come back over here and we have Benji's, 258Ds, a 62D, and a 59. And then besides that, we have V nickels. Then we'll move on up to get to these silver quarters. 64D, 45, 34. And then we'll move over to the Buffalo nickels. Yes, a lot of these probably don't deserve to be in flips, but we just we wanted to do it to try and save our stuff. Now we're on to the silver dimes. 44, 64. Those are all 57s, I believe. 45, 43, 64, and a 1979 24 karat gold plated dime from Miller Prospecting. And I have my big silver proof set it has a silver Ike in it, silver bicentennial half and a quarter. And we have two 98 proof sets. We've got a whole stack of bicentennial quarters. Got a couple foreign coins that I got from Tom's Gold Dirt. I'm sure y'all recognize the bags. Then we're on to a couple Susan B's, 79 to 99, those were the years that they were printed. Then we're on to the half dollars. Yes, I know a lot of these probably are only worth 50 cents. They're not silver. But it's just fun to keep the collection from beating and banging itself around anymore. There is a couple silvers in there. There's the silvers. This way. And then we have a gold plated presidential dollar. Three steel cents. Yeah, yeah. We got three steel pennies. These are silver rounds. And then I've got a buffalo silver round. 
a Walking Liberty Silver Round, and a it's a it's like silver a piece. silver <laughs> it's another silver piece I'll say that and we have this little token thing looks like Nordic it's kind of cool and then we have a whole stack of Wheaties. Wheaties that we need to get to and I'm probably wanting to say with the couple that's in there those are probably in the 1940s and we have a 65 set, a 69 set, an 81 set, and we got a couple nickels there that are in pouches. And we have a, what is going on? Well, you get to that darn penny and it just throws everything out of whack. A, a slab penny. And we've got a couple Sacagawea dollars. And we get to our large 1825 one cent, large cent. Which is cool. Three of them little gold colored cougarons. And then we got some war Opa rations. dollars. Opa war ration dollars. And then we get to our copper rounds. And we also have a whole slew of foreign coins in there. And they're from ah, everywhere. A little bit everywhere, guys. So, as a prospector, um, prospecting to us is not just going out and digging for silver and gold and gems, prospecting coins as well. So, just to share with you guys what we got, our little collection, and this isn't all of it, you know, we've got a few more coins that we haven't pulled out yet and probably won't but hmm, I didn't show off my 1899 Morgan well, I thought you said something about it no or my uh, 1912 half so we do try and prospect everything and I have a new hobby as well it's in the safe I'm into hatchets so that's kind of cool um, prospecting to us is just fun and it may be coins it may be gold it may be silver um, aluminum cans Copper, brass. Um, prospecting is prospecting whatever you want to make your prospect. So for us, it's kind of a, a recycling and prospecting thing all in one because now we have a forge and we can start melting our cans. So we've been saving cans now for a little while. So we've got all those that we can melt down. I've got copper, I've got probably 15, 20 pounds of copper. I'm going to get started melting that down soon. Um, I found a little rocky horse that's made out of brass the other day. I'm going to melt that dude down. So, prospecting is what you make of it. So, with that said, let's everybody prospect together. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, with that, maybe we'll see you guys out soon. And quit dreaming and start living your dreams, guys. Go out and get some.